White flag is raised, they're off. In the Ladbrokes Dublin chase, grade one over two miles, one furlong. A blue tar, a significant late non-runner, and the first to show is Min, winner for the last two years, leads to the first of 11 fences, or no and Shacken pour soi. Uh, Silas Emery's gone. Silas Emery's down at the first fence as they go up to past the stands and both up. Danny Mullins and his partner Silas Emery heading away to the second fence and going along in front are Noah and Dylan Robinson move on a couple of lengths in front of Min. Robbie Parr in a distinguishing green cap. Third is Shacken, Poor Swan, Paul Town and then the grey Duke to Geneva and Mark Walsh and then Castle Grace Paddy and Brian Cooper who got off to a flyer and detached Ordinary World last year's second under Davy Russell. Nicely spaced out, racing to fence number three. Or no in front, followed by Min, Chacon Pour Soi, and then Jute de Geneva after the stable companions, Castle Grace Paddy, and detached as Ordinary World. Making the bend to head into the back straight. Good run to the fourth fence. In race two, in the Ladbrokes Dublin Chase. Field led by Ornua. Second position held by Min, and then Chacon Pour Soi. Duke de Geneva and Castle Grace Paddy, and they're well clear from Ordinary World. Continuing to turn into the back straight as they jump the fourth. Ornua, Min, Chacon Pour Soi, followed by Duke de Geneva, Castle Grace Paddy, long way clear from Ordinary World. Racing between fences in the back straight. And the next one, taking them past the halfway stage, or Noah with half a length back second men. And these two uh, poaching a bit of a lead over Chacon Pour Swan, Duke de Geneva. Castle Grace Paddy is adrift, and Ordinary World has been pulled up. Racing now to the ditch, right across from the stand, seven furlongs from the finish. And Min is back taking over the lead from Chacon Pour Swan, Duke de Geneva. Dropping back is Ornua and then Castle Grace Paddy. Next fence, six and a half furlongs from home, and Min rises, less than three lengths in front of Chacon Pour Soi, Duke de Geneva. As they race now to the last fence in the back straight, this will be four from the finish, and it is Min, stalked by stable companions, Chacon Pour Soi, and Duke de Geneva gone well clear from Ornua and Castle Grace Paddy. Swinging off the back straight, five furlongs to go and three fences to jump. And it is Min and Chacon Pour Soi, the Richie duo, leading three lengths, Duke de Geneva at the last ditch, three fences from the finish. Min and Chacon Pour Soi, followed by Duke de Geneva, a bit of a mistake, then Castle Grace Paddy and Ornua. Two to jump. And matching strides, Min and Chacon Pour Soi, there's nothing between them. Six in front of Duke de Geneva, who's dropped off them. And then Castle Grace Paddy, and the faller was Duke de Geneva as they run the home turn. And Chacon Pour Soi and Paul Town and take over. From stable companion Min and Robbie Parr, they're a long, long way clear of the others. Castle Grace Paddy and Ornu as they begin the run of the final fence, both up. A Mark Walsh and Duke de Geneva, but it's Chacon Pour Soi in front from Min trying hard in second mightn't be shaken off yet Shack on poor swap from Min at the final fence in the Ladbrokes double chase Shack on poor swap from Min well cleared of Castle Grace Paddy and then Ornua inside the final 200 yards and driven out by Paul Town and Shack on poor swap from Min there's four lengths between them as they run towards the line and it's Shack on poor swap who's set to resume normal service for Paul Town and Willie Mullins, a result and a half for the Riches with Min second, or new at third and last of four to finish is Castle Grace Paddy.